Well, it's Saturday, the 27th of July, and I just dropped off my son to help his dad and uh, some neighbors get some hay together. Had to drive up this squirrely road to get here, which actually is the new improved squirrely road, as opposed to completely gone over the creek down there. Uh, Man, it's a, just a beautiful day. There's enough breeze in the air. I'm pretty sure you can hear the breeze. I can hear the breeze. And I uh, got up here, parked, and got out. And the neighbor lady came up. And we chatted for a minute. And the owner of the field came by. He's awfully glad that we're able to do this for him every year. And we're awfully glad to get the hay. And I looked around and saw a few raspberries and I like to I need to get some raspberry leaves for my pregnant daughter-in-law and so I decided to come back to the car and get a knife I forgot my clippers I wish I had my clippers so this is the field he mowed about I don't know half of it midweek and we worried through a few thunderstorms and uh, they didn't come so that was good the neighbor raked it with our uh, one of our tractors earlier today it's a nice nice day for it and so we didn't really need to do much more than rake it and start baling we got our round baler over there when he's on his own again he'll get back to that we got our I think that's our truck pretty sure that's our truck um, one of our trailers got the hay bine looks like they're making their first trip around um, we do a little caravan with the, uh, well, there I can see them, but they're not moving, which is probably not a great thing. Uh, you put the trailer, no, let's see, trailer at the end, the square baler, and the tractor pulling it. It's got no protection from the sun on that one, so that's kind of good, not good. So that's what's going on out there. They had to fuss at the baler some today. I don't know if there was twine problems or, or what. We use a hemp twine on this one and a uh, plastic. Unfortunately, one on the round baler. Um, but now they've got all three people in the trailer picking up the bales as they come out of the baler husband has got his head turned around the whole time. I suppose he's not quite sure of uh, how it's working out yet. It does take something of some coordination. Um, one of the participants is younger and stronger, but the other two have a lot more ability to stack and to uh, think. I guess that sort of sounds rude. Huh, he turned around so it's a little bit tough to see where he's, what he's doing. The hay is really tall in here or else I'd walk uh, through it. It's probably up to my chin in a lot of places. It kind of goes with this season. It's been so terribly wet that it took a long time to be able to get the tractors on the fields without getting stuck. I think he only got stuck two times or something this year, which is quite a record. Um, yeah, I see stuff going off the edges. I don't think you can see that, but I can. That means there was uh, a bad knot. I don't know if I can make this thing bigger. I guess I can kind of zoom in a little bit. But he stopped and he's right behind, right behind the brown baler. It makes it a little tough to see anything. Maybe I'll take a little walk, get a little closer. Well, they are having some trouble with it today. It's quite either works like a charm and you can't believe the good luck, or maybe not as much. So, I think the neighbor is going to kind of walk behind and make sure from what he can see. Those terrible creeks are the hay wagon. It was, <laughs> well, I think meant to be pulled by a horse or something, so it's got a different kind of construction. Yep, he just 
just dumped another one. That means it's the knots are no good. It might mean that I need to go get some new baling twine. a farmer your whole life probably this whole thing is frustrating and uh, we haven't been farmers our whole life and it is a little frustrating all right we'll see if one has popped they've got a few bales in there so it's not hopeless at this point well I'm not doing anything in this the uh, perspiration is kind of uh, rolling off of me. can't even imagine these guys. They're all people of a certain age besides my son. So, seems like some bonus credit. <laughs> my neighbors need, oh, just not very many bales, maybe 90 square bales. They have a horse that they um, had bad hay last year and they really like to have a little little better this year. Um, so this is our mutual neighbor's uh, field and he sells it to us. Unfortunately, all this work and, and also we're paying <laughs> a little something for it. I can't remember how much it is for a square bale. Could be a dollar a piece or something. a bargain if everything is working perfectly but if you start adding in the price of diesel and uh, repairs on all the equipment and the tremendous amount of time it seems like she'd get a little bit of bonus credit for this terrible heat <laughs> but you don't well there's 15 minutes in a in a farmer's life on a hot July day and uh, farmer's wife is going to go home and fix up the modem and drive in an air-conditioned truck. We don't have an air-conditioned home and don't really need it but I gotta tell you the air-conditioned black truck is, uh, is a real luxury item. It can really cool you down. So that's what's going on today. Looks like we've worked out the kinks. Okay, I'm gonna, I guess I better get this off of close up. That's a little bit hard to watch. I was able to get uh, some raspberries, leaves. Looks like here's one of them that fell down. No, that's not it. Where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Mostly it was blackberries today, which I don't know. Maybe that does the same thing. Maybe it doesn't. So I'll take care of that when I get home. Put it in the dehydrator in a hurry. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I can't believe how nice that breeze feels.
Sooner than yacht or something, but you gotta keep feeding them. 